Hey, Hayato here, and today we're taking a look at Google's strange new mobile operating system. It's called Fuchsia, and it's a little different from what you might be used to. Let's take a look. So, some background here. Fuchsia is the third operating system developed by Google behind Android and Chrome OS, but the difference here is that Fuchsia drops Linux and instead uses Google's own kernel called Magenta. It also uses Google's Flutter SDK, which allows for cross-platform app development, meaning one day you might have one app that works on your Android phone, your iPhone, and your Fuchsia phone? Okay, so Fuchsia is the operating system, but what I have here is Armadillo, the UI behind it. Now, this is a super early preview build, so there's a lot of missing features and placeholders, but there's at least enough functionality going on for us to get an idea of what Google's working on. So the home screen is a vertically scrolling list of apps, with the base being a sort of profile card that lists the day, time, and location. If you tap on the profile image, you get a more detailed card that shows volume and brightness sliders, a few settings toggles, battery percentage, and your current networks. Now, if you swipe up from the bottom, you're given a list of suggestions that are currently just counting from 1 to 10 in Japanese. You can also tap where it says to ask for anything and bring up Armadillo's keyboard, which looks similar to Gboard, but it's lacking a lot of features like gesture typing and double tapping the spacebar for automatic punctuation. Back on the home screen, all of the apps displayed are, again, just placeholders for now, but you can still open them up and close back out with the home button dot icon at the bottom. What's most interesting is that you can actually run split screen apps, and it already goes further than anything we've seen on a phone before. Drag one app into another, almost like you're creating a folder, and you'll be able to choose which one takes up which half of the screen. But taking it a step further, you can go back home and drag another app into the group for three or even four apps running on the screen simultaneously. Even in such an early build, it's really impressive seeing how well this whole process works, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it's further improved in future builds. So there's Fuchsia and Armadillo, at least for now. It's still unclear what exactly Google plans on doing with all of this, whether it's going to be a full-on Android replacement or something in between. Who really knows? But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, we would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and check back for more soon. Until then, my name is Hayato Husman for 9to5Google. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.